Okay, now next up, as you can see, we've got a nice, beautiful steering wheel there, which is fantastic. It looks great. So it looks busy, but it, once you get the hang of it, it's very, very simple. Beautiful, beautiful digital instrument cluster there as well. So as you can see, we've got our speedometer, we've got our tachometer, we've got a few other things about our trip settings as well. But let's start off on the steering wheel first. Along our left-hand side, as you can see, we've got our adaptive cruise control settings along the top. So we can turn the adaptive cruise control system on or off. We know it's on when we've got these lanes showing up. This one is going to be our distance indicator. So that's going to let us know how far or how close away we are gonna be from the vehicle in front of us when we're using the adaptive cruise control. Next one is going to be our lane centering system. So we can see that steering wheel disappear there. Now the lane centering system, what that's going to do is that's the one that's going to recenter us and pull us back into our lane automatically, essentially giving us a little bit of a nudge. From there, we can either increase or decrease one kilometer or one mile per hour at a time. We can cancel out the adaptive cruise control or the regular cruise control, and we can turn the system off completely from there. As we move down, we can either increase or decrease the audio. We can mute if we'd like to, and that's going to be that left-hand side. They're very, very simple. Along our right-hand side, we've got a ton of other options now. So we've got the ability, oh, what's that? Heads up display. Let's turn that on for a second and let's look up. Oh, there it goes. Looks absolutely beautiful. So you can't really make it out there. Okay, let me pop you out for a second there and bring you in a little bit. So you can see the system there, but you can't see the numbers by the look of it on the screen. So as of right now, it is just showing the speed. So it's zero kilometers an hour. It's a very, very unobtrusive system as you can see there. So really, really nice that Ford's done that. Again, it's not too busy, which is great. So we're gonna go back for a second there. And as you can see, we've got our back button. That's going to be a generic back button to get us across different screens. By moving this up and down, that's going to take us to different screens there as well. We can set what screens show up. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. We're on our trip counter there. Let's say if you just filled up your tank and you want to reset, all we're going to do is press and hold the OK button on the steering wheel, and that's going to reset it for us. So very, very straightforward. Next up, we've got our menu button. So menu button gives us the ability to select different screens. So what's going to show up as we scroll through? So we've got our eco behavior, trailer light check, seat belts that are going to come on, the auto start, stop, etc. And then whatever ones that you want to show up on the screen, we're just going to press the back button there. Next up is going to be your audio. So what audio is currently going? AM, FM, Sirius, XM. If our phone was connected, it would give us that option as well. Pressing the back button again. Navigation. So navigate, we can either navigate home or to previous destinations. We can look at our favorites or nearby point of interest. And then if the phone was connected, we would have the ability to be able to select through our phone there as well. And that's going to be the basics of that part of the screen. Now, as we start to move down, we've got our voice command button there. So that's the one that's going to let us do some things like change the radio station. We can navigate, we can make phone calls by pressing that button. These other two, we can either skip songs or we can answer a phone call or we can hang up a phone call. We can turn our rear, uh, rear window wiper on or off by pulling towards us. We're going to work the front windshield wiper fluid. By pushing away, we're going to work the back windshield wiper fluid. So very straightforward. Along our left-hand side, we've got the ability to turn that lane keeping system on or off. So as you can see there, we press the button, that goes away. And from there, very straightforward, we've got the ability to use our turn signals, and we can flash our high beams there as well. So we've got the high beam button, as you can see, on the bottom side there that turns on or off. Other thing to point out along the steering wheel are our paddle shifters. So we've got the plus and minus button there. Please note you do have to be in that manual mode to really get full control of it. So you just have to make sure you jump into that drive mode, press the M and that's going to be our manual mode there and park out from there. 